Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level. This is the Applied Practice Paper F. Here we work on question 7, a variable acceleration question, and SUVAT as well at the end. So, a car starts from point A at time t seconds after leaving A. The distance of the car from A in m is s metres, um, where s is equal to 30t minus 0.4t squared, where the time is from 0 to 25. The car reaches the point B when t is 25. Find the distance A, B. So, given that uh, the distance A, B, the car reaches the point B when t is 25, so all we've got to do here is just plug the value 25 into the formula for S. So, plugging that in, and we're going to get S equals 500 metres. So that's, uh, that's easy enough to get us started with. Show that the car travels with constant acceleration and state the value of this acceleration. Well, what we're going to have to use here is some of this differentiation to help us get to the acceleration. Now remember, V is the difference in um, distance travelled. Uh, per second, so this is going to be differentiate first to get to v, and acceleration is the difference in the velocity, so we're going to differentiate v to get to a. So the first thing we're going to do is v equals ds by dt, so we're going to differentiate this thing here, and we're going to get 30 minus 0.8t. Okay, so that's worked out the velocity, that's what we're after, we're after acceleration. So acceleration is dv by dt, so differentiating this thing here, and we're going to get 0 minus 0 0.8. This is a constant, it does not change with time. That's what constant means, it doesn't change its value over time, it does not change over time. It's constantly decelerating in this case, at minus 0 0.8 meters per second squared. Okay, uh, a runner passes through point B when t equals zero with an initial velocity of two meters per second running directly towards A. The runner has a constant acceleration of 0 0.1 meters per second squared. Find the distance from A at which the runner and the car pass each other. What I want to do here is draw us out a diagram to help us visualise what's going on. What we have here is point A and point B. And we know from our previous work here, the distance between A and B is 500 metres. What we also have here is a car that's travelling towards, uh, towards B. And what we have here as well is a runner any excuse to draw a horrible diagram on there. There's a runner that's running towards A, accelerating at this initial velocity of 2 metres per second. Now, what we can do here is form a SUVAT equation uh, to work out the distance the runners pass one another. So, what we need is um, some letters here. So, we'll call the car P and we'll call the runner Q. So for P, the SUVAT equation is going to be, well, the SUVAT variables S, U, V, A, and T are going to be, well, it's going to travel a distance that we want to find out, so it's going to travel this way here. Its initial speed, let's go back and have a look at speed. When time equals zero, um, this part here is going to disappear, so our initial speed is 30. Final speed we don't, math, don't mind. Acceleration we worked out here was minus 0.8. So minus 0.8, and the time is just going to be at t. For q, s is equal to, so we've already travelled say this distance here is s. In this case here, we're going to want to travel this distance here, so 500 take away s. 
So the distance the runner is going to travel is 500 take away s. And if we count the left hand direction as positive for the, um, for the runner q, and we'll count the right hand direction as positive for the car, as long as we're constant throughout our p formula and our q formula, that will be fine. Its, acceler its initial velocity is 2. We don't mind about its final velocity. a is equal to 0.1 and t is just equal to t. Now what we have to do is one of these questions where we need simultaneous equations um, from a SUVAT point of view. So for p, uh, for both of these equations actually, the formula we're going to be using is s equals ut plus half a t squared. The reason being is because we don't mind about this final velocity here. That's not of interest to us, so we'll just leave it out of the formula. So for p, the formula is going to be s equals 30t plus half of um, minus 0 0.8, so that's take away 0 0.4t squared. And for q, the distance that the runner has travelled is going to be 500 minus s, the distance that the car has travelled. And this is going to equal u times t, so that's going to be uh, 2t minus half of the, so plus, because the formula is plus, half of the acceleration, so 0.05t squared. So just rearranging this uh, equation for q here, it's going to be 500 minus 2t minus 0.05t squared. Okay, so now we have one simultaneous equation, two simultaneous equations here, where s is the subject in both of the formulas. You can see what I've done from this line here to this line here. I've just added s onto the other side and taken these two bits across. So if s is equal in this case here, then we can set the two equations equal to each other. 30t minus 0.4t squared equals 500 minus 2t minus 0.05t squared. Okay, so thinking sensibly about which side we want our variables to be on, I think we'll add everything onto the right-hand side. So add 0.4t squared onto the, onto the right, and we're going to get 0.35t squared. Uh, take away 30t onto the side, and we'll get minus 32t, and we've still got the plus 500 at the end here. Now what we need to do is uh, whip out that uh, quadratic uh, equation solver for us on our calculator and equals, and we're going to get the first solution of 500 over 7 and the second solution here of t equals 20. Now quickly doing 500 over 7 and we're going to get... 500 over 7 is we're going to get 71.42. Now, if you remember back to the initial point, t was in between 0 to 25, so we're going to abandon this solution for t here. So what we're going to use is t equals 20. In this case here, what we can now do is plug 20 in to the distance from a, so I'll use my p equation here, so that was 30t minus 0.4t squared. And in this case here, I'm going to get, let's show that. So we're going to plug 20 into the equation for p, where t is. And we're going to get here 440 metres. So find the distance from A at which the runner and the car pass each other. It's going to be at 440 metres here. So quite a tricky SUVAT equation here. This is common um, for them to, to use this. This is the second time in these practice papers I've seen one of these um, simultaneous SUVAT equations where you need to use a T 
um, as your variable for t and think about how far your car and run have traveled. We've used opposite directions for positive notation here, but as long as you're consistent throughout your one formula and your other formula to which is positive, then everything will, will be fine. Okay, so get lots of practice at these types of SUVAT equations. They could well appear in your exam. Okay, so that's 13 marks for this question 7.